welcome back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to stylish nigeria youtube channel i appreciate all of the support the love that you all have given me here on youtube i actually don't take it for granted thank you thank you so much okay so you could see me and shoot actually shooting from another angle yes in today's video i just want to use this dress as an illustration before i continue in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and so a Victorian corset. So like you can see what I have here. This is a Victorian corset. And then that has a yoke. You can see it has a yoke. It is perfectly covered and then has a sleeve. So that is what I'm going to be showing you how to cut today. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, if you have not subscribed, please, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also. So now let's get back to our table. Okay, so we're going to start drafting now. So this is, this is the back body so i'm just going to keep it so it's just a regular basic body so i'm going to keep it on the side and then these are the fabrics that we're going to be making use of i have my ankara i'll use it for the yoke and the sleeve and then this is the main body so i'm going to be using a satin so you can use any fabric of your choice you can use a crepe you can use normal plain fabric any plain fabric will work for a victorian corset so for this tutorial i'm going to be making use of a regular bust here so I'm going to be adapting it into a Victorian course okay so now let's get started so this is a basic bust here which I'm I use the shoulder that because I sorry the neck that bust here because it is a Victorian corset. so at the end of the day all of all these darts they are not going to be needed I'm going to be we're going to be cutting along the lines where we want to so you can use any bustier pattern of your choice. You can use the shoulder dart bustier also. So now let's get started. So you have, if you don't know how to draft this kind of bodies, I'm going to drop this bustier. I'm going to drop the link in the description box. It is a very simple process. So I have here, this is my bust line. This is my under bust. And then this is my half cut. So I'm going to be adding a basque to it, a basque waistline. So you can see from my picture. So I added an extra five inches which i'm going to use to create out the basque waistline so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to cut out those bodies so i'm going to cut out we're going to cut out the yoke first and then before we cut out the full body so what we'll do now let's uh, let me just take out the side shape of this so my bust is actually for this i'm making it of 40 inches so this is 10 inches you divide into four you have 10 inches so i'm going to add about four inches allowance you can add for victorian corset i always advise you to add enough allowance to it why enough allowance because you are going to be doing a lot of stitching and then the boning inserting of the bone in all of them you need extra fabric for that so for the under bust also i'm just going to mark my under bust and then i will add my allowance also and then my half cut measurement and then i'll add my allowance and then my waist that's the part of my basque which usually is your hip measurements that's what you will use to take that part so you don't run into any problem so i just mark it like that so like i said i have a more detailed tutorial on how to draft this so once you watch it you understand how we got to this point okay okay now the next thing we're going to do now so i'm just trying to adjust my paper properly the next thing we're going to do now we're going to start cutting out our Victorian corset. The first thing I'm going to cut out the yoke. So for the yoke, I'm using a straight yoke. So if you see from the picture of the dress that I showed you for my mannequin earlier on, I'm using eight inches for the yoke. So this is my yoke line. This is eight inches. So I'm just going to cut, cut it along my, so like I said, it's just a straight yoke. So I'm cutting it out from my, from my armhole line point. So this is what I'll use when we're cutting out the yoke to cut out the yoke. So the next thing now, 
I'm going to tighten up this part more. So I'm going to tighten up this part. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come to this point. I'm doing like an over bust tightening. So I'm using half of an inch. I'm coming in half of an inch inward and then coming in half of an inch inward also. So I'm just going to blend. Okay, let me just, I'm just going to blend it like this. And then this one on this part like this, I'm going to blend. It is a very simple process, that's just the truth. When I made it again, I knew it was a very simple process. So you tighten up this part, so I use half half inch to tighten up this part. So with that, the boss part will be firmer. So all these parts, now we're going to cut off all of all these parts. Well, before we cut out, we are going to add our... We're going to start separating our Victorian corset. So you see, it's simple, very simple process. I keep saying it. So the first thing I'm going to do, so for this, you can, for there are some Victorian corset, the middle, that's the center front, it has a cut on it. So you can decide to ha have a cut on the center or decide not to have a cut. Like mine, the one I did from the dress, I actually did not put a line at the middle. So I made the, the center cut. I did not put a line, but I'm going to teach you the one that has a line. So if you want a line, that's the middle part. If you want the center part to have a cut, what you are going to do, so from this center front now, I'm going to mark half of an inch like this. So this half of an inch, I'm just going to mark it straight down like this. So I'm not make, putting any curve or anything. I'm just going to mark it straight down. Like I said, it's optional. I can decide not to add it. Do you understand? So the next thing now, I'm going to start marking. So from this point now, I'm going to mark. So you know this is now my center. That's that middle piece. So I'm going to use two inches. I'm going to mark two inches to this point like this. And that two inches, I'll come to the chest line part. Also, I'll mark two inches. I'll come to the under bust part. I'll mark two inches. And then I'll come to the down part. So on this down part, I'm going to mark. Okay, let's insert our bus before we continue. So with that, it will be easier. Let's just insert the bus. So for the bus waistline, it is a very simple process. What I normally do, I'll just come to this point, this half cut point. You know, this is where my half cut is supposed to be. So I added this extra. So I'm just going to come to this point like this. I'll mark 1.5 like this or 1 inch. You can mark 1 inch, the pen, and then I will just curve it into this part so for this it's not the sharp bask it is that curvy bask so i just curve it into that point like that so with that you see it is easy so i hope you understand what i'm trying to do so on this down part let's continue okay let's start the process again so from this point now i'm just going to mark two inches like this and then mark the same two inches or two inches on the under bust part and then once i come to the bask that's the down part i'm going to mark one inch the reason for marking this one inch, so you see what I'm, I, I'm going to do now. So I'm going to mark this now. You understand? I just want to rule it so you see it. So I've marked, this is my first cut. And then the next cut that I have here, because I have tightened the top of this part, I'm not going to get two and a half again. So I'm going to have about two inches. So on this part, I have two and a half. This is the bust part, the cup part. So I'm going to leave it that way. On this part, I have two inches. And then on this down part, I'm going to reduce this a little bit from this down part. Because I don't want it to be just, I just don't want it to be like straight, straight like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce it by... Half of an inch. That's sorry, quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to blend that part. I'm just going to blend it into this part like this. So this part I'll take out, joining the the dot. So with that, so you see this part now is going to come like this. So this part, all of all this part of a Victorian corset, you can actually manipulate it however you want it to be. So that's just what I want you to know. You can manipulate it however you want it to be. So I can decide to just even still leave it like this without reducing this part. I can leave it that way. So now we have cut, we have measured out these two. 
So I think, okay, I'm just thinking if I should cut out the that first of all. I hope you understand. So now let's continue. Now we are done with these two parts. So this part, now I've divided this part into two. And then this part, we're going to divide into three. So it depends on what you want. There are some that can even divide this part like this. They can even shred it more, making it slimmer. You can divide this part into three. depends on what you want. And then divide this part to as much as five, five parts. Depends on what you want. So I'm just trying to explain this part very well. So you will know how to do this. That is why I'm just taking my time. So I'm going to come to this part. Now this is the cup part. You have to be very careful. So for the cup part, I'm going to be making use of two and a half here. And then I'll use two and a half here also. So I'm just use dotted line so you understand as I go along. So because I want it to have a shape, so I'm going to come to this part. I'm going to reduce it on my under bust part. I'll use two inches. So you see now the bust part is bigger. Why on the waist, on the under bust part coming to the waist? Part it is smaller, so I'm using two inches also. So two inches, and then when I get to this down part like this, I'm going to now use two and a half. So with that, it's going to come like this, and then it opens up to this side. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So this side is not really entirely straight like that. So you see what I'm going to have. So this is the other cut. So now we have, okay, now let's say that now we have one here, we have two here. So for this other part of the bodies, we have one already. So I'm just going to mark one here. We're putting three. So this is three now. So we have two more to go. So on this other part, now we're going to come to this part. So for this part, now I'm going to use three inches. I don't want this side side to be too slim. So I'm going to use three inches here on my bust line part. I'll come to the top, I'll use three inches. You can use how many inches, depends on what you want. So I'll use three inches. So I'm just going to connect the lines so you understand it as we go along. And then when I come to my under bust part, I'm going to reduce it because I want it to have shape. So I'm going to reduce it by two and a half. So from this point like this, I'm just going to mark. So you see, notice, you see it is slanting downward. So on this down part also, I'm going to use two inches also. So what I'm going to now do, I'm just going to mark it like this. So you see how everything is looking like. So this side is looking too curvy for me. So you see what I have. So now we have two, we are done already, three. This is four and then this is five. So I have my three parts here and then I have one two. So my corset is divided into 10 at the end of the day when you spread it open, I'm going to have 10 lines. If I'm going to cut this center open, I'm going to have 12 lines. So I just want you to know. So this is how simple it is to cut out this corset. So I hope you understand it. So I'm going to just go over it again. It's better for me to rush the other parts. But this part, I want it to be very clear. So this first part now, I used two inches. So after cutting out the yoke, you use two inches for this top part like this. And then the down part, I use one inches. You just connect the lines. And then this center one, I already had two and a half inches here. So I just left the two and a half inches. So for the down, I had two and a half inches, but I just decided to reduce it a little bit because I want that middle part a little bit shapey. So I reduced it by half of an inch. So I just added that part to my darts. I just blended it with the darts. So at the end of the day, the down part of this part is reduced to two inches. So that's for the center front. And then now we will now come to the side. So for the sides, I just decided for the side, the middle part where the cup is, I decided to use two and a half inches here. And then I used two and a half inches here. So the same thing. And then when I now came to the down part, I now opened up a little bit. I used three inches. So you see it, and then for this one, the other part I used three inches, and then when I got to this part, I reduced to 2.5. So just reduce it, and then the other part, which is the side, I just left it. Everything immediately I drafted, made got this and got this. I just left this one out, so I did not touch it. So this is our Victorian corset, simple and easy way. So I'm going to cut out, cut it out. So you see what we have now. So let's cut out our darts now so you will see it properly.
So now I'm going to cut this one open now for you to see. So I'm just going to keep the extra one and put it on the side. And then this is the center. So this was what I was talking about. This center, if you are not cutting it, here is how the center is going to look like at the end of the day. This one is going to be here. So let me just cut them open before I explain to you so you will understand more. So I'm going to, okay, let's keep this on the side. I'm going to cut, okay, no, let me just cut them. So I'll spread them out properly for you to see everything. So please make sure you label everything carefully. I'm going to show you how we're going to label it now. So this is our number one. And this is our number two. So like I said, if you want your corset, if you want it slimmer, you can still in, you can still cut out, slash out the lines. So for this, this is the center piece now. So for the center piece, this was what I was talking about. If you want it cut out, you can actually cut it out like this. But the one I did from the one on the mannequin, I actually did not open the center front. So I did not open it up. So at the end of the day, this is what we are going to have. And then this one is going to be here. This is number two, number two. So you will understand. I'm just trying to forget the pieces, okay? This is three. This is two. Make sure you label them or else it's going to everything is just going to scatter and and then this is the side. So at the end of the day, so you see what we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you see how it is now. We have ten pieces. So if you want to, if you want to slash more. You can just measure, divide this one into two and then stitch, stitch slash it like this. That's this piece if you want to slash. So it depends on how much you want to slash it. So it is a very simple process. All you have to do is this cup part. You have to be very careful so you don't get truncated. So that's just like basically what it is. So the next thing that we're going to transfer all of this to our fabric. So this is for the front piece. So I'm just going to gather them together and then we'll do the back piece so for the back piece so since i already labeled them i know how many pieces i have so i'll just keep them and then let's cut out the back so for the back it is a very simple process so for the back i'm going to use my dart lines i'm going to slash along my dart lines you know normally back part is already divided into two on a normal thing so this is my dart lines which is my bust line, my bust fan line. I'm using. So it depends on what you want. So you can decide to slice them more. But mine, for that one, I actually did not slice them like that. What I did was I just came on this one like this. That's this side piece. And then divided into two like this. So you know that the back was still going to take out our yoke. So we're still using the same eight inches that we used for the first one, our back yoke. So we're just going to cut it out like this. So that's for the back yoke. So for the back, like I said, I just divided this one into two. And then I just slashed I just slashed along the line like this. So with that, my back piece is now, I just had four pieces. So I'm going to open it up now so you understand what. So at the end of the day, so my back is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Why the front I have 10. So if you want it more, you can slash more. So I don't want to cut it off. So I'm just going to leave this like this. And then I'll cut out my fabric. So this is my back yoke. I'll transfer everything to the fabric. Now adding one one inch allowance to every piece. So I'm going to do that and then show you. Okay, so you see I finished cutting 
I finished cutting everything. So for the top part, I added one one inch allowance to the top and to the down. And then these ones I added one for this one I added half half inch. For this, I added one one quarter inch on this side and then half inch on this side. And then this one I added one one quarter. So you should just take note of it. So the next thing now I'm going to go and stitch them together. So this is the back piece also. The same thing I did. So in stitching this, what literally what I'm going to go and do, I'm just going to join them just the way they are like this. I'll just go and join them back. Join them. You know all of them are labeled. Join this one together and then join this to this. So I'll go and do that now on my machine and come back and show you. So I'll place this and just join all of them together to have a straight piece. Okay, so you can see I finished stitching all of my pieces together. So you can see my bust area. So I'm just going to turn it like this so you see it closely. So you see all of the lines so closely. So this is the back piece also. So for the back, let's work on the back first before we continue. So if you are going to be, I'm going to be lacing, putting a lace on the back. So what I'm going to do, this is my zipper allowance. So this is my zipper allowance line. Yeah, that's the two inches I added for zipper allowance. I'm going to take it off first because I'm going to be lacing the back, so I don't need the zipper allowance. And again, there's something, there's some kind of um, dresses. You see the back, the lace up back is a little bit wide. So for this, I'm going to take out another one inch again from my body. So you can take as take out as much as two inches. That's another extra two inches. Why some? You can just decide to leave the lace up back like that. Just taking off only your zipper allowance. But that will be a little bit slim. So I recommend you take out at least one inch. At least. But you can, you can take out more than that. So you can see how the back of my pieces is looking like now. So here is how it's going to stay now. So this back, this is the part I'm going to look. Okay. So for the boning now, I'm going to show you how to do the boning. So I have a very detailed video of this. So for this, I'm actually going to be adding bra cups to my Victorian corset. So I'm just going to show you how it is going to look like. So I'll add bra cups inside of it like this. So this will help the bust area. That's the bust part. It will help to give it more stability. So since it is a corset, so at the end of the day, it's going to be firm. So this kind of um, bra cup is very easy for you to fix it. You're just going to use a needle and a thread. Once you are done, you just need to use a needle and a thread, and then you tack it on the bust area, making sure that you measure you measure your under bust. So I'm just going to explain this. So you make sure your under bust part, and then make sure that the cup, that's this tip of the cup, is starting from your under bust. For instance, now this is my under bust. So that is where my cup is going to start from. So I'm just going to place it like this and then I'll tack it. Just four tack is even enough. You really don't necessarily need to flatten it. No. You're just going to give it four, just four tiny tack like this. So this you can start to just tack it here and then tack it. Just four stitches. That's all on your dress. And then before you cover up with your lining, so you can do it that way. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do your your boning. So I have a very 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 when I say very very detailed video on how to insert boning to your corset and I have five different ways, different method of inserting boning. So for this class, I'm just going to explain it. I'm not going to show it. I will drop the link of that one. So once you watch it, you understand. And then even this back loop also, I have a video of how to do it. I'll drop the link also. If you watch it, you know how to do it very well. It's very simple and easy. So for Victorian corset, I would advise, so you have two types of boning. This is the regeline boning that is, is soft. You can stitch it. And then this is the plastic boning. That's your machine can actually sew on top. But this one is the plastic bone your machine cannot sew on top so this one is always used for casing as in that's in built corsets you, you push it through after sewing you push it in so for Victorian corset i would recommend you use a plastic bone and it is very simple to do you're just going to cut out this is just like one way 
of inserting bone. You have you cut out pieces of strap of, of about two inches. So you just make sure you use the just make sure you cut out what is bigger than your bone. In. And then for this part like this, I'm going to take it like it's very simple. It is a simple process. So you see, I've opened up all of my my lines that's after stitching i open them and iron them flat i'm just going to take this like this and then i'll place it here like this it is very simple and then i will stitch like this on one side of this allowance like this you see this allowance now mm -hmm. i will stitch it you can decide to do it however you want but the best way is just lay it flat like this so you have the lines but if you know you don't want the lines to show here you can just hold it i have a detailed video on how to do this so you can just hold it and stitch it down and then take this other part also and stitch it down but if you want the lines to show on the outside you are just going to take it like this and then you place this like this and then you make sure that your hands are straight and then you stitch you make sure you are following this part and then stitch on this line like this and then the second part of your allowance you stitch on it so after stitching on it you are just going to cut your boning so for this plastic boning whatever you are doing make sure you leave at least half of an inch on top because that's where you are going to join your yoke because you cannot stitch on it otherwise it will break your needle so you leave that part and then you cut your boning you start it from like here now up to like this point you can leave half of an inch on top and half of an inch down and then you just push it through so that's just how you do the boning part so that's for the boning part the next thing that is for our yoke it is simple so for the yoke i've already cut out my yoke with my ankara it is a very simple process just place your your yoke on your fabric and then cut this is the back and then this is the front so what i'm going to do now so for the yoke i've cut it out so for the lining, you are just going to cut exactly the way your fabric is and then that's what you will use to, to line your, your corset. So you see how it is looking. So you see the bust area. So you can see. Just trying to show you. I don't know if my camera captured that. So for the yoke, you're just going to cut out your yoke. And then you will stitch on it. So you see it. So I'm just going to turn it so you see it very simple it is a very simple process so you take the center in, in joining the yoke you're just going to take the center of your you notch it like this and then you take the center of your corset also and then you notch it so since it is an ankara i'm going to cut I'm, i'll use the same fabric for the lining also i'm just going to place it like this and then i'll stitch it to this side and then stitch it to this side so you see after stitching automatically you have a very covered dress so i'm just going to go and do that and then i'll do the same thing to the back pieces also so we're almost done with our victorian corset okay so i finished joining the yoke so now i'm going to show you how to trim how to trim in your insert your neckline so this is the front piece so if the back is going to stay like this so you just make sure that it's staying on the edge to edge this side because of the loop so you see the huge gap so we're going to work on the front piece so i just wanted to check to check to make sure so this is the the front piece so now i'm going to shape the neckline so this is the back piece. So for the back piece, you have two options. So this kind of loop now that I'm going to, so I'm just going to keep this and explain something. This kind of loop now that I'm going to have for my back piece, the loop is just going to run straight like this from the top down. So you could see how it is here. So I'm just going to, the loop is going to start from up down. But if you, you could decide to do the type that you will not want to, to loop it. So it depends. If you don't want to loop it, you're just going to use your regular excuse me your regular zipper and everything so you don't need to cut out that excess and then if you want it to be the back part if you want it for instance if you want the neckline the back part to be very deep you can decide to 
to still cut out, cut it open. So it depends on what you want. But mine, I just want a straight look. On the, if I can see the picture of what I'm trying to explain, I'll insert it in the video so you can see it properly. So now, so I have the front neckline. And so the back one, I'm just going to put it like this. So the back, I'm just going to add it, just a small neckline. So since my dress is a basque, so you just make sure that this part, they correspond. So it's this part, that's where you have the extension. So I'm just going to check. So for the back, I'm not going to add any neckline. So because I already have the weight here so i'm not going to add anything the back is just going to stay like that so for this i'm going to add three inches like this and then i'm going to come down so from the original picture i showed you actually have a v neckline so if you want a v neckline once you measure the width of your v neckline you're just going to mark it down but mine i don't want a v neckline i actually want a round neckline so i have my three inches so i'm going to use 3.5 I want it a little bit open and then for the depth i'm going to use about four and a half inches depth so i really don't want it too small and then not too big so it's going to come like this and then for my shoulder i'm just going to drop my shoulder you know i did not drop it initially i'm just going to drop it from there so i'll mark so for my back also i'm going to join the back and slope out the shoulder on that shoulder line part so that's just like the only thing that i'm adding to the shoulder to the back part of my dress i'm not adding any particular neckline because the width you know because of that three inches that i took out um the extra i took out one two inches for the zipper and then one extra inch so that's what went in for my three inches so I'm just going to leave it that way. If not, the back is going to be too wide. So the next thing now, uh, almost done with this. So I'm going to go and join the back and the front together. And then I'll show you how it is looking like. So I'll join it first before I turn with my line. Because I'm doing an inseam. So you finish everything before you line it. Okay, so you could see, so I finished joining the shoulder, the back and the front part. So the next thing is for us to take our full body measurement. Now, so I'm going to take the full body measurement now. And I'm going to join them. So I'll use my inch and then join them and then come back and show you. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you see what we have. So I'm going to turn the back. So you see the back. So you see how the back is going to look like. So you see the, the lace top back. So it's going to start from this part and then get to this part. And then you are going to make sure you are going to stop it before where you are going to join the down part of this dress. That's the skirt part. Because at times when I see people, they ask you, uh, they used to ask drop comments like, how will I fix the, the down part? How will I fix the down part? How will I fix the zip when it has this? It is very simple. The skirt part, you are just going to start fixing it from here like this. You understand you're going to start fixing it so at the end and you know that that one has zipper allowance also the skirt so you fix it around at the end of the day you're just going to fix your zip from this part down so when you want to put it up you open up this part and then open up this part like this and then to have room to wear it so when you want to lace it you can just turn it like that so at the end of the day so you see how the front part is looking like so i've not trimmed I've not yet trimmed the ampoule, I'm sorry, the ampoule. <laughs> I've not yet trimmed out the ampoule and then I've not inserted my my bonings into it. So I want to make sure I finish everything before I do that. So I'm going to stop the tutorial here. So if you find it helpful with this, so you'll be able to know how to cut and sew a Victorian corset without any problem. So if you find this video helpful, I will appreciate if you hit the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did with this video. So, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye. 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 And bye. Let's attend. Good 360.